Hey guys, welcome back to Grounded. It's been a long time since I played a game, a survival game, that's made me stay up at night the way that I am right now. It is currently 1.15 in the morning. I will admit though, tomorrow I've got a couple of things going on, so that's partially a reason, but normally I just go to sleep and wake up extra early. But I just wanted to play some more. You know, I'm, I'm a 29 year old man staying up at night. Try to play some more Honey, I, sh I Shrunk the Kids Simulator. The first episode did really well. A lot of you seem to enjoy it. I know a lot of you want uh, some co-op. I've seen the votes and I will be bringing co-op. But today I wanted to do this episode on my own because I feel like it's very important. Today we're going to be crafting our first home ever in the game. And I think that's very, very essential, I guess, technique to learn. And um, I'm really, really excited. Now, fortunately for us... We're right here at the secret laboratory, and unfortunately for us, we're very low on water. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go over here to this robot, because I heard from a little, from a little birdie, there is a card here that I never picked up, and I have to give it, it to nice this to robot. A friendly face around here. I hope that robot doesn't hit me right now. <laughs> hey, hey! Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill that robot. Okay, hold on. You see, all I wanted to do was just come here and uh, be a good survivalist. No, you got robots like this guy over here ruining all the fun for me. Good. Okay, so here we go. Crazy, huh? Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay, so I'll trade you for if some you raw, have science. raw science. I'd be happy to, to to trade you for it. Bring me more of my lost research chips, and I'll be able to expand my menu of items. Right, so now this guy's gonna pretty much give us a blueprint. A scab scanner science, multi-story base. This is him giving us the blueprint to do stairs floor and a triangle floor, which is pretty much gonna help us build. And, um, yeah, I've got a thousand one hundred and eighty. So I will buy that. And then here we have fortified bases and all sorts of things that we can unlock with that. Um, so yeah, now we have, uh, we got something to look forward to. Grassland chip unlocks. What we're going to do now is we're going to get the heck out of here before this robot hits me. Got to drink some water too. But this is not looking good. It is not the safest out right now. Okay, it is literally. Oh, sunrise. Huh. Huh. Okay, well, things actually seem to be not too shabby. One thing I do want to do is I want to kind of um sort out my inventory a little bit better. I want to put this hammer here. And then I want to put the torch over here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to find myself some water. That's the first thing that we got to do. All right. We also have... Oh, it's a ladybug over there. Ladybugs are supposed to be good, right? I think so. All right, we're going to break up this or acorn. Because uh, we can also... Acorn top. We can get the tops. We can also get the bits. And the ladybugs usually are not bad. Ladybugs, I hear they take you to good places. But uh, right now, I need some water. I need some fluids, okay? We're doing bad in fluids. Got some juice drops. Mmm. Right, can we go inside there? Oh, more? Eh, don't mind if I do. Filled up and rehydrated, ready to go. All right, so I feel like we need to go back to our base. I don't know if we should call it a base, but... Go back to that spot where we can analyze things because we have a couple of new things that we can analyze. We actually have a lot of things that we can analyze. So we're going to take a look at the map and I think we're going the right way. So all we got to do is just keep going straight and we should be a-okay. All right, so we've got some more tree sap here. It's such a beautiful world and honestly, like the background music of this game is super, super chill. I mean, it's amazing. 
Look. It's a ladybug. And a bunch of ants. Oh, they're trying to kill the ladybug. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, little ladybug. My son Ryan loves ladybugs. He would be super upset if we were to do anything to that ladybug. Okay, so what is this? Spider web. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spider silk. We got spider silk. Okay. I don't know what that does, but... Of course. We're gonna go find out. Alright, let's get out of here. We've gotta get out of here. I have not yet come across a spider. So, uh... We don't know exactly what happens then. And I must say that I've heard that a lot of people fear the spiders. But I'm, I'm thankful that we have not been in that predicament just yet. Okay, look at this. <gasps> look at this. The Ominin Log 2. My keen detective reasoning suggests that it's where the signal's coming from. Why is there why is there no dialogue? A tab. Okay, so this is another one of these uh it's past midnight uh now but the Covenant Space Reducer prototype is complete, otherwise known as a shrinking machine. I've dubbed the Space R. I should get some rest, but the kids are already asleep. Trudy's given up and gone to bed. And I'm eager to find out if all of these months of work were worth it. Everything should be sound, but you never know until you flip the switch. But here goes nothing. I think you can come here and you can craft... You can craft this. And when you craft things, you can use those things that you craft to analyze. Like this. We've never analyzed this. And this is something that's very important. And this is also going to... Already known. A new recipes deciphered? None. Acorn shovel, spring bow. Okay, I had no idea. Anyways, we're going to use the spider silk and analyze that. Basketball hoop. Okay. What? The acorn shell. That looks more important than the top. Let's analyze this and see what it gives us. Acorn chest plate, acorn face mask, acorn leg plates. So you can make armor from that. Oh, that's super cool. All right, so what we're going to do now, we have one more thing to do, and that's kill a working ant. Kill three working ants. So before we even think about doing any of that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the base building, which is going to be the tutorial part here. And that's going to be the wall, the door, stairs, floor, and a triangle floor. So this is pretty much the blueprints that we gathered from the robots that we can now do. Oh, that's awesome. So we've got an eye patch, whether it's for injury strategy or just plain fashion. This eye patch would do the job. A fuzzy, stylish hit hat. A hat that increases stamina efficiency. Uh, maximum health. Maximum health and maximum health. Ooh, that's cool, dude. Alright, so we'll definitely do that eventually. Right now, what I'm really intrigued in is building a home, a base. So what we're going to need is a solid wall that can keep the insects outside like all buildings. It can be damaged by attacks. This is a door. This is stairs. thing is, where do we... Where, where are we in the map, actually? We're like in uncharted territory. Yeah, I kind of want to go back to where we came from. I don't want to stay here for too long because I feel like... I feel like this is dangerous here. I don't know. Okay, we'll come back this way anyways. But right now, I want to get a little bit closer to home. <laughs> to a safe place where I belong. Okay. Now, I've heard from, from a lot of people and resources and... Resources. I, yeah, I guess you could say resources. People online that uh, the more you advance in the game, the harder... The game gets in a sense where like the game starts throwing more and more enemies at you so 
that's worth noting. Now we're here, which is relatively close to this thing. And we've got a nice little juice box here, which could also be useful eventually for future endeavors. We've got a bunch of ants. I think I'm going to build here. I like this. We've got a nice little rock here. Yeah, I like this. Um, you know what? We take out our axe. We're gonna start chopping down these little grass stems. Our stamina is a little low. Let's chill out for a sec. Thank you. Hi there, little ants. Please don't. Just, just don't hurt me. I promise you, I'm, I'm, I am not a bad person. I am just, I'm trying to survive. Do you know about survival? I am sure that you do. Yo, this axe is relatively strong. Like, it's pretty durable. I'm telling you right now, this is a game that I, if it keeps getting updated, and they've said they're going to be updating for a long time. If it keeps me intrigued, man, I am willing to play it for months and months. Like, this is just amazing. Okay, now I'm going to chop some of this down. Oh, hi. Oh. I think I just killed the aphid. All right, we're almost full on, on grass here. So we've got to be careful. All right, and then I'm going to chop this. Dropping down some trees. Get out of the way. I don't want to hit you. Because if I hit you, then you're going to want to kill me. You're going to call your friends to gang up on me. That is not something that I need right now, damn it. All right. I'm going to gather all these things here. And I'm going to drop them. This is very, uh, what do you call this? This is very, um, stranded deep like. Okay, throw that one right there. Let's collect all my little brass planks. Put this one right here. Perfect. All right, so we have a wall. And a floor. A solid floor can also be used as a ceiling. I'm wondering if I can... Ah! Can I get up here? Okay, hold on. Alright. I can probably start right here. Yeah, I ra I'd rather be... i rather be kind of like higher up. So I'm going to start right there. Start right there. Ooh. Oh, hi. Um. Okay, we'll do it like that. Fair enough. And then we'll start doing this right here. Perfect. Perfect. And that's it, right? Now we need a hammer. So we need a hammer in order to construct it, construct this. Okay, hold on. This is something that I did not know about. Uh, tools. We need a hammer. Oh. I see. Dude, so you don't even need... Uh, <laughs> you don't even need um, support at the bottom. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, hold on. Let me just get some of these planks. Oh, this is freaking cool. Oh, this is so freaking exciting. <laughs> Build. Need more. Alright, so these actually tend to run. They seem to waste pretty easy. I want to say that maybe eventually with upgrades or as we play more... We'll be able to carry more of these planks, or I guess grass planks, if you will. I also want to make sure that I don't really need this to support my my base here. Okay, good. Nice. Look at all the plant fibers. Holy heck. 
Your inventory is full. Try crafting a storage building to hold some of your items. So it looks like you don't really need like a base support for these things, which I don't know if it's because it's early access, but I will say I like it <laughs> just because I probably could have built this closer to the base. But then again, when I start my co-op session, maybe I'll, I'll do it differently with my friends. Who knows? At the moment, I am enjoying myself. I'm going to chop up more of these grass. Thingy majigs. Get some more grass planks. And uh, get constructing. I guess we could call them grass plank. It just it doesn't sound right. Like grass planks. That just sounds weird. I'm going to go through here. Break this up. Alright guys, we're almost there. Almost there. Okay. Alright, so that's gonna be the you may think <laughs> you probably think that's the that's the roof, but it's not, okay? That's that's the floor, damn it. Okay, that's the floor. Alright, I'm gonna Let me see if I can pick up more of these uh probably start off there. Yep. One right here, one right there, one right there, one right there. And then this could be the entrance. Okay. And then here I can twist it. Or we could do a door there instead. Okay, so we cannot build that there. Can we build anything here? Seems like you could do like some sort of like triangle, like some point. You can build it from the outside, so that's always good. All right, before it gets too dark, I'm gonna go look for some water. Um, that's probably a snail. Yeah. I need me some water like right now. Um, let me see. Ooh. Oh, see, this is why it worked perfectly. I did this with the intention of hopefully being able to get. Oh, my God. Yes. And I swear to God, you may think I'm lying, but I did it with the intention of being able to possibly in the future. Oops, that's the wrong one. Benefit from being next to some sort of drinkable resource for this reason right here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Here it is. Yeah, now we're good. I can also eat some of the uh Choke it down, Pete. Oh, it's worse than dad's Brussels sprouts. Some of these. Now we're good. Alright, perfect. So now we can pull out our torch and we can get our pickaxe. And we can go to town. Everything's okay. No creepy animals around here trying to eat me or anything like that, right? All right. I get paranoid when these ants get really close to me. Because I feel like I'm going to hit them. And I don't want to hit them, at least not yet. Because, you know. I want to be good. I want to be friendly to the ants. And then when they least expect it, wha bam I will slice them in half. It'd be cool if you could, like, train the ants. And eventually they kind of start helping you build stuff and I don't know hunting for food or whatnot and who knows maybe you can get some sort of saddle and ride the ants <laughs> for fa faster travel hey, you never know imagine being able to tame these ants the worker ants who knows that might be something in the future and if it's not and you're watching this and you get any ideas please credit me thank you weapons and tools can break or where I've used too much. Craft a new one. I really hope that they can find a way to do like a quick craft menu. I don't know if that's a thing, but that would help tremendously. Yeah, that's just a ladybug. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull out my hammer. 
I get these planks. That up there. Thank you. One thing that I really like about this game, and it might just be... I don't know. It might just be me, but I really like how... It is a survival game at its core, but everything is so simplified. You don't really have to break your head over... Like, remembering the recipes and things that you need for certain things. And you can just enjoy the aspect of the game being what it is at the core. A survival game. I really like that. And I understand some people might like games where you have to remember more and have to be a little bit more tech savvy about it. And knowledgeable of, like, the resources around you and the world around you. But I personally like this a lot. Dude, I cannot wait to play this with my son. He's gonna love it. Might do an episode with him. Just kind of hard because. And how do you tell a five year old, let me do this and not let him do it, you know? And this is obviously it's a little bit too complicated for a five year old. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so I might need to add an easier way to get there. But in the meantime, we got this and, uh,. I think I can probably do now a door. Let me see if I can do a door here. All right, so we need a weed stem. A weed stem, a large, sturdy building resource from felled dandelions. Dandelions. Oh, so dandelion right here. That is a dandelion, right? Oh, wait, what did it drop? Weed stem. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my God. Yes. Dry grass. All right. I can come back for that later. All right. So now we can climb up through here. Our very bootlegged sort of stair. I'm so happy I did it here. Like, this is great. Okay, now we can go to our scaffold. Really? Sturdy scaffold, a structure made from weed stem logs. Sleep to bypass the extra dangerous nighttime or set a respawn point to return the event of death. <laughs> All right, set a respawn point and sleep. Hmm. I think it's bedtime. No, the more that I've been thinking about it, I think I should probably just do the scaffolds. Just so... Just have a little bit more support. Again, I don't know if this makes a difference. I know we don't really need the support, but maybe it makes the structure stronger. What can I say? I am an overachiever. Alright, so... Now we start working. We'll start with this one. I am. I am. So it takes two of those things to get the scaffolds, right? All right. Now, the scaffolds don't have to necessarily be done on at the same time. We can take our sweet time with that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It takes ten hits. Sheesh. I'm definitely going to need... Uh, no water filtration tablets needed. I am definitely going to need a bigger backpack or I don't know just a faster way of transporting these things because when they're close to your base it's fine but when they're not yeah it's a lot of traveling man there's also a lot of new things that we've gathered that we need to um analyze per se which are going to be helpful because when you analyze things it just obviously allows you to discover new things new resources or resource types but anyways this is part of the survival we're here we're building we're right by the uh oh i didn't even know we were right there oh we're literally neighbors with this thing here this is perfect eh, i knew it all along it was totally planned six hours later scaffolds are done literally a damn bridge <laughs> Our axe is almost out. 
Although we've already used it like a decent amount of times. So it's pretty much it's 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 had his uh it's had its better days, but it's definitely come in handy. We can go up through the clovers. <laughs> or up through the other side. We don't even need stairs where we're going, baby. Look at this. We even got water droplets right here at our disposal. Which by the way, making this next to a juice box was the best thing ever, which was again unintentional, but it's come in handy. Okay, so anyways, now we're gonna craft, uh, I think I wanna do, this is probably a better, this is probably better to do a window here, but I think we should do a door here. I'm gonna put the door right here, actually. Perfect. Now I'll get the hammer. And I need one of these. Perfect. That's a door. Holy crap, that's cool. <laughs> Let's go. Now I need to build stairs. Sick. Sick, dude. Freaking sick. Okay. Pull out the hammer. Build that. Again, I don't need a door. I don't I don't need stairs, but then again, you this is the purpose of this. You want to build it and, and feel comfortable, you know? So That's why I'm doing it. There we go. We need one more. Could be one here on the ground somewhere. All right. Here we go. And there we go. Bro. <laughs> Let's go Very quickly Before anything crazy comes at me Yep, very quickly now instead of having to do this I might actually eventually do Another stair on the other side I think that's gonna be the future the future plan for this house there we go. Could probably do windows here now. So I can do this. I can do that. And I can do a window wall here. You know what? I'm going to do it right here. And I will do it right here. And then we'll use the other side as a platform. We can use this as literally just a platform. I could even make this, honestly, another door, per se. I could make this another door. Like a side entrance or what have you. Yeah, and then this side could be the same thing. We can't because of the rock and the juice box, but we can't really do anything there. I guess we're going to use those things as platforms then, right? That's, that's going to be the best thing we could do. And then this wall here, take it out, unfortunately, just so we can be able to see inside or look through the sides. Maybe even this, maybe we can now even do this. Probably turn it. Yep, we can do that. That's definitely what we're gonna do. Look at that. <laughs> I am a genius. Now we have angles here, angles there. And we could probably do even the same thing for this, honestly. Um, I think actually, I think I wanna do that. I think I'm probably gonna. Yeah. I think, ah. Uh, See, we don't really need to just because, I mean, do we want, we can make this, I mean, we can make this a window. We could do something like that. Yeah, I think I like it. I think I like it. I really, really like it. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, we have just enough. Holy heck. Wow, dude. That's amazing. So that's our door there. And we can make this a door as well. We can totally do that one right there. And we can come here. We can do stairs. Just like that. 
and then take this out pull out the hammer bada beam bada boom okay there's something down there i don't know what the fuck it is and it's still stuck there <laughs> okay we're gonna do this here bam and build okay hold up is that a Ah, oh, we need one more weed stem. Oof, I did not think about that one. Shit. And woven fiber, which we can probably do. Right? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so we need one more. Oh! What the freaking hell? Ah! Away with you, Satan! Oh, he's trying to eat my fucking house! Oh, shit! Yo, why are you bugs so damn disrespectful right now? Like, for real, for real? Ready for some tiny rest. All right, please tell me they're not here anymore. They're still here. All right, you guys done fucked up. That's it. That's it. Enough. A man can only take so much pain. Killed it. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Just throw it at him. Bro, these things. Disgusting creatures. Okay, come on. Get out of here. Holy hell, they were eating up my freaking house, bro. Can they destroy your house? I think they can because... Yeah, look at the health of the scaffold. Oh, there's a tool that you can use to repair it, too. Alright, let me get this. Bro, this game is too much. It's just been... It's been throwing way too many things at me at the same time. And I cannot... Just, I can't deal with this. Um, Before these creatures come back, I'm going to go... Find myself a dandelion. Get some more of the things that I need to get. Ooh, actually, hold up. Yeah, wheat stems right here, bro. What are we talking about, bro? <laughs> no need for a damn dandelion. We got the stems right here. Besides, we've, we've also discovered so many things that we can take back to the, the, I don't know what you call it, the hub. I forgot the name of it now. Where you can analyze the things. It's also going to be a plus. Alright, so here we go. Um, We're going to go here. We're going to go to craft. We're going to do a door. And it's going to be this door. Oh, that door's already here. It was this door. Yeah, so we just need the ingredients. Perfect. So that's that door. And then we need the stairs. Which these freaking assholes totally destroyed. Um. Alright, we need uh, three more of these. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna go over here and utilities, a repair tool. 
useful for repairing damaged structures totally. All right, so we need, um, we'll get some of this repair tool. And then we need, okay, that's, that's actually not that bad. We got some sprig right here. Got them actually all over the place, honestly. Make the repair tool. So you literally just hit the stuff and it repairs. Now, of course, with future updates, I'm sure we'll have a proper update or a proper animation. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hit that. Why is it telling me that? There we go. I wasn't trying to hit that. Well, this is going to come in very handy, to be honest, because I'd rather repair stuff than have to build it all over again. Even though it feels a little tedious, not even gonna lie. Okay, this is all fixed. All this is fixed. Ooh. This wall's a little damaged. I feel bad and all, but... Worker ant. <laughs> uh, sorry, dude. Uh... I don't know. I don't know what what to say. I'm sorry. Let me break this pebble. You can make the break the smaller rocks and turn them into pebbles. And part what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta throw away some stuff because uh, trash the stack. Yes. Really? I guess when you kill the ants, you can get the head and the legs and stuff. Okay. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to close this. Um, pick this up. And I'll put this here. Okay, so now that we've got our house, we need a roof. Believe it or not, we need a roof. Let me see what this looks like right now. Hmm. Not a bad looking house. I'll be honest. Not a bad looking house. I don't know if I want to do the roof yet. Or if I should probably do like a. You know, like a bigger roof like that. I don't I don't know. I'm still undecided. Or or a bigger bigger ceiling, I bet. I, I mean. No. Fuck. I might do something like that. I might do something like that. In the future, if I want to add a second floor, you know, you just never know. So I think I want to do something like that. So this should be relatively easy. Grab this hammer. Get more of these planks. I'm gonna chop down some more grass planks real quick. Bro, this is looking pretty solid. Not gonna lie. I don't mean to brag, but I don't know. I like it. I mean, I guess that's the whole point of crafting and, and you know, making your own home for you to like it. I, I, I like my house looking pretty good. Look at that. That looks really good, actually. I think we got it. That's a little bit more spacious now. Yep, definitely more spacious. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at it. Bro, that looks awesome. I can even probably make another window on the other one. Honestly. I can probably make a window here. Grab one of these. And bada bing bada boom. Now that looks awesome. Bro. That looks cool, dude. <laughs> that looks freaking cool. 
That looks that looks so cool. So my plans eventually are to build like a little bridge here. I'll build a little bridge. That way I can walk straight to it. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then I got my little tent over there. I don't know. I really like it. What do you guys think? I love it. So I have to find something that I can put inside my house that allows me to store things. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, we have ant parts. We've got acid gland. Let me see what this does. Larval spike. Let's analyze this. Larva head mount. Okay, that's like a de <laughs> that's like decoration, bro. Let's see what this does. Smoothie station, sap uh, catcher. Oh, a sap catcher. Nice, and a smoothie station. This is very uh very common. So I want to see what what it does. Clover poncho, clover shin guards, clover hood, a roof, a roof corner, roof interior corner. There it is. There it is. Now we got the roof. Now we got the roof. No, our, well, we don't got the roof, but we know how to make the roof now. I was wondering, maybe, maybe we can just use the floor as a roof because that's what you can do. But now you actually can do a roof like a proper roof. That makes complete sense now. I really need to start uh, learning what to do with all the resources that I have. I've got a lot of things that we honestly don't even know what to do with it. And honestly, it can get a little bit overwhelming. But um, I'm going to drop this here. And I want to see what I can do. Craft. I don't care about the ceiling right now, the roof or anything like that. Um... Utilities lean to the storage basket. There's a storage basket holds up to 20 stacks of items. We're going to definitely craft that. So we can probably do it in a corner, like a corner, like right there. Perfect. And then we have storage chest. Um, acorn shell well that actually helps <laughs> a plank pallet a platform on which glass uh grass planks can be neatly stacked a platform on which weed logs can be neatly stacked trail marker transmits a trackable visual signal so you can find your way back water container basketball hoop shoot hoops or <laughs> a workbench allows you to craft of armor and weapons with an advanced material with advanced materials. All right, we can do these two things, which is holy hell, that takes up a lot of space. Yeah, I don't like that. Log pallet. We might need to. Build this right there. Honestly. Well, we can probably build that right there. Yep. Yep. So we're going to have to do. Build it right there and then we'll just pick them up here. Okay. So we're going to do that. We're going to get a bunch of these. And... Okay, we need uh, dry grass. All right, let's go get some dry grass real quick. Where's the dry grass? Dry grass should be this way. Dry grass. Okay. Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. What do I feel like we might need more of that? Dude, I feel like we have it all here, honestly. Some water. Okay. And a pebble. Oh, we need a pebble. 
Okay, let's get a pebble here. We should be able to collect some. Ooh. Hold on, inventory. You know what? I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna need another mushroom. And I'm going to drop this spear here. So I can pick up some pebbles, man. We need pebbles. I think that was a quart, the last one I picked up there. Alright, and we need one more of these. Perfect. Alright, let's see how this works. Collect all of these. How do you... Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool, dude. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, oh my God, that's amazing. The woven fiber, dude. This thing is like the most useful thing in the entire game. Like It's like you need it for almost everything. Now, this right here is pretty much a... We could have done... Honestly, we could have done a, a chest instead. But uh, that's fine. With this... Alright. So, the last thing that we have to do here... Is going to be a... Trail maker. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it? Decor, a plant lamp. Need a lot of plant fiber. Hello there, little ladybug. How you doing? Let there be light. Okay, some more plant fiber. Yo, there's a lot of stuff here. Got no problem. Okay, and then we're gonna go back to our little basket. And we're going to retrieve all of these. Okay, and now go to our inventory. What the hell is that? Go to our inventory and craft a fiber. Woven fiber. Woven fiber. Alright, good. Nice! Look at that, bro. Oh my god, I love this. There we go. Bro, look at that. Look how cool that looks, bro. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. <laughs> that looks so cool. I feel like that straw is going to be an issue with my damn roof. But oh well. Might have to deviate. Um, anyhow... We can probably put a lamp here in the entrance. I don't like getting, getting carried away. This is too much. Okay. Oh, shit. Wow. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. I'm so happy with it. It's been a long process. I've been recording for two plus hours, so definitely it takes some time, especially when you're new to it. You know, it's it's completely different when when you're new it versus when you've already got your experience. But uh, super super enjoyed it. I I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and um, I'm sorry if it if it was a little bit long, but uh, I really enjoyed it again, and I hope you had a good time. If you guys would like to see more of grounded. Let me know in the comments. Drop it a like. And thank you for everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll catch you later.